Oh, my journey has been incredible um, in Big Boss. I've learned so much about myself. I'm learning Hindi and the culture, the food. I really, really loved it. It's been a really incredible journey for me. Okay, so uh, the, uh, you know, if you, we want to know who ever has nominated you. Yes. That was from Dimag Walarum, right? Yes. So do you think they are the perfect for, uh, people for Dimag? Absolutely. No, but not at all. I think Vicky was good, but I think Aaron, Telka do not deserve to be in the brain room because I don't think they use their brain. Um, they made a mistake and uh, I don't think they deserve to be there in the house. I think they need to be chal chal out of the house. Okay. Anybody else? I'd like to ask you, what were the uh, places where you found that people misunderstood you in the house? I th it's a very good question. I think for me it was the, the language barrier, the translation. I think that was a wrong mistake to keep targeting me on for translation because I think the show is inclusive, it's about it's a global show. So I think it was a very weak thing for them to target me on and uh, I'm sure one day those contestants will get their karma. Uh, there was also a place where people uh, got to know about your likings uh, regarding your love life or the point where you, uh, you you were attracted to someone in the house. Yes. So what was the overall thing going on in the house? I, to be honest, I formed a very special connection with Abhishek. I think Abhishek is beautiful, wonderful heart. And I just wanted to be in the house for longer to understand my relationship with Abhishek because honestly, I feel like there was something magical happening between me and Abhishek. And I really hope I can find that out soon. So it was from the side of Abhishek, uh, do you think, or uh, you were only the one who was initiating all those things? No, it, to be honest, even Abhishek was initiating as well. Me and him were very close together and the way we were speaking to each other, me and him one to one, I don't know if they show it on TV, but it was truly magical and I just want to have more clarity between mine and his relationship. But in one of the conversation, uh, he was talking to Vicky and Vicky was like, you should clear with Navid that you don't have anything, uh, you know, Any uh, words, feelings, yes, feelings yeah. for you. So what do you have to say? I think that's not true because obviously you have to understand, sometimes these things are very sensitive. Like. People want to keep interfering in the relationship, but it's like, it's none of your business. It's between me and Abhishek. When people keep saying that, you get scared. So I think when it's just me and him alone, we really feel that connection and that vibe. So I think people need to mind their own business and just let me and Abhishek do our thing. Who do you think should be out instead of you? Telka, Arun, uh, Sana and Rinko. To be honest, I feel like they haven't been showing themselves and I think Sana is lost. There's no personality there and I feel like I could have, I've done a lot compared to them. Aaron and Telka have always been in the bed just sleeping, doing nothing. So some people have been there more for luck, you know, but they don't deserve to be there. What was your disadvantage of the show? I think again it's to do with the language barrier, but you know, the thing is, I, my good friend, you know, as you know, Abdul Rozik, um, he supported me to go on the show and he actually, when I spoke to him yesterday, he said, Navid, you should have stayed, you know, Big Boss should have kept you because you're growing, you're being stronger. So I think uh, the language barrier was a disadvantage, but I think it was not fair for them to use this as a way to eliminate me. But when Abdu and Jad went to the house, uh, there were people who were supporting. Yes. But do you think exactly. this time people were not supporting you or not translating what Big Boss was Yes. Doing? So this season, I feel like I was a bit shocked. The contestants weren't really supportive. As you know, not, I won't say all, but some of them were not supportive. Like I, I had, for example, Munaver. I was telling him, "Can you translate this in Hindi?" He was giving opposite thing to what I was saying. Or people are not giving me the correct information to try and manipulate me. So I was very disappointed by the contestants. And Stan Mansur said in the first week, "You have to make sure you translate for Navid because I'm a contestant and we're all equal." But unfortunately, I think Big Boss had to put more um, emphasis on that because it's a bit unfair. Now, you were never highlighted on Weekend Kabar, so what do you think? To be honest with you, I was surprised because I was always participating in the Weekend Kabar. Salman Sir always complimented me on my, you know, how I look, my teeth, um, my show, you know, how I am on the show, even Sohail. And is it Arbaz? Yes. They were even saying, like, I am the one that's giving the positive energy. I'm like the light in a cricket match, giving good vibes and good energy to people.
Okay. Uh, except this, uh, you said Munawar, you know, always he used to say positive things again, you know, whenever yes. he used to translate. So do you think he's the mastermind of the show? You know, he's a very smart player. He knows exactly what he's doing. But I feel like he's too much in the game where he's losing his personality. I think he needs to like not think or strategize and just have fun, be more chilled, relax, enjoy, enjoy the process. What so, is your thought on Manara? Manara, I love her and me and Manara, we share very common similarities. Um, you know, she's got family member who are in the industry of entertainment, even I. You know, my friend, obviously, Naomi Campbell, who's one of the big model ladies, she was always supporting me, saying, you're going to do really well. And even yesterday, her mom, she called me and said, you're doing very good on the show. You've done amazing. And it's amazing to have that sort of connection and vibe with Manara. And we said that once this show is over, we're all going to come to Mumbai and have a big, massive party. And I'm excited. But do you think Manara is going on a right track? I think Manara is being herself. She's very sassy. She's got that okrrr vibe. So she's going to do amazing. And I'm fully supportive of Manara. So, Navid, uh, do you really think everyone is targeting uh, this uh, UK07? So, is Anurag. that a, uh, uh, yeah, Anurag? So, is that a right thing or they are like uh, doing a BS, uh, like what we say? Uh, uh, are they purposely trying to target him and uh, showing his negative point to all the audience? You know what, I think with Andrew Rock, he's lost in the game and I think what he did was very wrong, like to destroy Big Boss's property, making us lose kitchen time. So I think what he did was wrong and I think him doing that has made the house go against him. And even Salman Sir was not really happy with <coughs> Andrew Rock with his comments. So, yeah. you know, I, I don't know how the audience are feeling about him. Well, and what do you think about Aishwarya? Is uh, she really uh, like... Uh, having a rough language with uh, Neil? You know, I think Ashwari and Neil, they're both beautiful and I love them dearly. Um, but I think obviously Ashwari, she even said to me, she feels a bit like lost in the game. Um, and Neil is the one that's supporting as well Ashwari emotionally. So I think uh, if Neil wasn't there, Ashwari would be very, very argumentative to be honest. I think she would go like, rah, 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 you know, like, you know, you see yeah. how she is. So. So what do you think uh, between this both the couple like uh, Ashwarya and Neil and Vicky and Ankita, who is going to go to last? That's a very good question, and I think my opinion is Ankita and Vicky will go far together. Huh? Why won't you opt it for Ashwarya and Neil? Sorry. Why Why won't you see uh, Ashwarya and Neil? Because at, at the moment, I feel like. You know, they're they're not like they need to still give more of that personality. I think with Ankit and Vicky, they've got they bring more energy, more personality. So I think Ankit and Vicky will make it far. I As believe. you're close with Ankita, so right now the news is was out that she is getting mood swings, pregnancy tests. So what is the fact? Can you please? I'm gonna say that it's going in the positive direction and. I will be hopefully involved in that with Ankita because she said that I can be involved with the names. So if hopefully, God winning, it all goes well, it will be a very like a privilege to try and come up with names for her cute babies. So I think the babies will be very, very cute. So that means she's pregnant? I'm, I'm, what I'm going to say is going in the positive direction. <laughs> I don't want to give you a full answer. Positive direction. <laughs> so that means it's yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so who do you see in top five? Who I see in top five is definitely uh, Ankita, Manara, Vicky, Munavar, and Khanzade. Okay, Khanzade, talking about Khanzade, uh, is she, you know, using Abhishek's emotion for the game? You know what, I think there's been a mis misunderstanding between Khanzade and uh, Abhishek, and I feel like that relationship is not going to last, which obviously they're not talking. Which is why I say, Abhishek, stop, stop, bohot kalak, don't waste energy on them. Come, come to me, I'm giving you full energy, full love. Come to me, come to me. <laughs> so last question, last question. What no is your thought on Isha's game? Love to, triangle. Love triangle, to be honest, it is getting a bit too much, a bit boring. Um, and I was like, and I think like now this triangle needs to just stop. It's getting too much now. I mean, we've seen it. Now we need something new, something original. So stop. Lastly, message to your fans and viewers who have supported you. Yes, yeah, so to all my fans that have supported me so far is thank you, thank you so much on this journey. Shokriya, I love you guys so much. And I, I want to hopefully inspire by saying be yourself, 
be strong and you can achieve anything in life. And I will, uh, do you know, anything you need, just message me on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.